Google Shopping Feed is a product data file which is imported into Google Merchant Center. The data from this product feed populates the shopping ads and free listings that you see under Google Search. The quality of your Google Shopping Feed is vitally important for the success of your shopping ads campaigns. With new shopping formats such as Performance Max, it is the quality of the shopping feed and the data you're putting into Google which determines the success of your campaigns. Your shopping feed is usually generated by your website platform, though you can import it manually. So on the Google Shopping Results page, we have here a list of shopping results at the top. These ads, and also the information on the shopping tab, the ads on the shop of the tab, and also these free listings at the bottom, are all generated from details from a Google Shopping feed. So how do you create a shopping feed and import that into Google Merchant Center? I'm going to show you two options from Shopify. The options for doing this will vary depending on the platform you have. Shopify has a native Google app, which you can see on the sales channels. You connect, you connect it with your Google account and it will automatically upload your data into Google Merchant Center. Because this site has a lot of products and it sells on lots of different countries, we have used a, an app called Multiple Google Shopping Feeds. We create the, the feeds country by country by configuring this app and then upload them into Google Merchant Center. If we go into Google Merchant Center and go to Products, then Feeds, we can add a new feed. When creating the feed, you have to first add the target country. So I'm going to add the United Kingdom, which is where I'm from. And you have to select a feed label. The feed label designates the primary country of the feed. Also have to select a language, so I'm going to select English. And the ad format that this feed supports. So the choice is display ads, free listings, and shopping ads. You'll probably want to select all of those. Next, you need to select the input method. There's four different methods that you can select. You can upload your data into a Google Sheet. You can do a scheduled fetch. That means that the file is available somewhere on the web and Google has to go and get it. You can upload a file or you can go via the Content API. Now, what the Content API is, is it's going to be a direct link between your website system and Google. So for example, that's what Shopify uses. I would not recommend using Google Sheets or Upload because the data is almost certainly going to be out of date. So when you're selling products, your prices may change or your availability may change and you need to keep that up to date. And the only way of doing that properly is by having up to date details from your website. I'm going to give the feed a name, which is test. And then I'm going to select schedule fetch and then click continue. Now here you have the details for when the feed is going to be picked up. So you want to select a frequency where your feed is going to be updated. So daily, weekly, or monthly. It's best to have this as frequent as possible. The time of day when the feed should be fetched. You should set that based on your feed upload schedule. Um, time zone, and then the URL of the feed. Going back to our website and clicking on the feed app again, I'm going to select a feed. And I'm going to select the UK feed. And I'm going to click on the details. And here, that is the feed URL. So that's the details of where this feed is. So that, that file sits at this location. If I just open that location, it will show, you see it downloaded the feed file there. So that is where the file URL would go. And there's no username or password required. So it'll just be able to access that feed online. And then click to create the feed. It's as easy as that. Products from your feed will then show up onto the All Products menu option on Merchant Center, and you would see the same details here as the feed that you've uploaded. So what is best practice when creating feeds? If you create a good quality feed, you will get the best out of Google Merchant Center and Google Shopping. The most important things is the feed is up to date, and that means up to date stock levels and up to date pricing. You should also include accurate high quality content. So the details in, on, in your feed should match what's on your website. So if someone clicks on an ad and goes to your website, they will see what they're expecting to see and they're more likely to make a purchase. When Google serves ads, it looks at the data in the feed and the data as you're submitting with the ads, using the keywords in the ad to play that ad to the most relevant customer. If you have more, key, more data in your feed, including more keywords, more complete optional attributes, you will, you will therefore appear in front of more customers and get more sales. When creating your feed, you should consult Google's feed specification. In summary, you need to give as much information to Google as possible about your products, then it will be able better to serve your products to the right customers. Here is a list of the most important attributes in the feed. The first is the title. The title can be up to 150 characters, although only the first 70 or so are shown. You should include descriptive keywords in your title. A good format to use is something like brand, plus the name of the product, plus keywords. So for example, 
product, here's an example for my website. The, the product on the website is called Jano Llama Ride-On, whereas the title that we've submitted to Google is a different one, which has more keywords in it, which is Llama, Jano Llama Ride-On Yellow Kids Children's Toddlers Wooden Toy. This gives Google more information about the products and more keywords, so it can serve it to more customers. The GTIN, which for example is a barcode, in Europe it's called the European Article Number or EAN, in the US it's called the UPC. Google uses this information to group together products. So when a customer sees, when a customer searches for something, it will show them all the products with the same EAN together. You need to ensure that your images are of a high quality, especially as the, the image that the customer shown in the ad is very small. Use it having a high quality description, which is keyword rich, will give Google more information to index and therefore your product will be shown to more customers. Every product on in the in the feed has to be assigned a Google category and a product type. The product type is really your category, whereas Google category comes from a taxonomy which Google has, has, has published. Again, this gives more information to Google about your products. Finally, for every product, there are a number of optional attributes you can assign, for example, gender, color, size, which again give more information about your product. Let's now see how a well-optimized product will appear in Google Merchant Center. So this is the Llama Ride-On. As you can see, it's got a good high quality image here. We have just a simple title there, Llama Ride-On, and this is the description. The description here is, in, is submitted in full to Google Shopping, so it's a nice long description. If we look at the results page here, we can see that the, we've got a high quality image which fills the whole space. So the image needs to be high quality and close cropped. Otherwise, when it's small, you don't want, you will, you'll be wasting the space you use. You notice that we have submitted a different title here to the one which is on our website. That's so we can get more keywords into it. If we go into Google Merchant Center, we can see the data that we submitted. So here we have the title, nice long title. Um, we have the, a submitted an age group. This is a toddler product, a brand. Brand is very important. Again, it helps Google to categorize products. We here have the full description, which has been submitted. This is the Google product category. We've taken care to categorize this properly. The GTIN, that is the barcode for the product. We have a product type here. We've done push riding toys. I think we could do slightly better with that. It should be something like um, toys, ride on toys, push riding toys, Jano, and then llama riding toys. And we've also submitted the shipping details. So, so you can see here, we've taken care to submit the full details of the product to Google.